Hey, this is Brian Stillman with Be Terrific. We're at CES 2020 on the final day of this great tech extravaganza. Uh, we are in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and I am here with Kevin from Hachi. Um, you're here to show off the Hachi Infinite. What is that? That's right. Hi, Brian. Well, first of all, it's a great honor to be here. So Hachi Infinite, it is a touch screen projector. All you have to do is to place on any flat surface and you can start playing with your fingers right away. So it's a projector um, uh, that projects down onto the flat surface. So it's not like a wall projector. It's not like a movie projector. It's uh, projecting the control surface onto a, like a countertop or a desktop. Well, actually, it is more like a combination of a regular tablet, a phone, and a regular projector. It can project to the wall. It can be projected to the surface, to the table, to anything. And what would you be controlling? So you project this control surface onto the onto the table or onto the wall. And what is what's it controlling? What what are you doing with it? So first of all, it's based on Android, which means you can download any Android apps into it. It is a built-in standalone projector. So you don't have to connect your phone with it. You can use it to play games, to do any entertainment stuff, to watch movies, or you can do business works by using Microsoft Office. OK, um, and it's not through your phone. It's all in there. Now, let's say you're working on stuff. Uh, you're creating documents in Microsoft Office or whatever. Can you get? How do you then get that out there to whatever you're doing? Well, first of all, it has a 128 gigabytes of built-in storage, so you can just save all your works inside here. In the meantime, it has a HDMI port and a USB port, so you can connect to your laptop or connect to a USB drive. Does it have built-in internet? That's right. You can, you can use it to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, to Bluetooth, or you can connect your phone by using AirPlay as well. That's very cool. Um, now you can see the unit. Um, we have it set up on the floor because we didn't have a big enough flat surface for it. <laughs> um, but um, it's not particularly large. Um, is it designed? I mean, is it meant to be a portable unit? Is it meant to live in your home? That's right. Well, it was meant to be using it at home, but you, it has a built-in battery as well, so you can take it to a field trip, to a meeting, to do presentations. How much battery life does it have? Uh, it lasts about two and a half hours. Okay, um, and it can also plug in. It has definitely, a definitely, power. definitely. Um, so why don't why don't we take a look at it and uh, sort of do a little demo here? Um, you can see at home. You can see right now it's projecting a piano keyboard, um, and you can see that uh, now. Um, we have a control interface, like your typical kind of Windows or Mac interface. Um, you can scroll through it. Actually, it's more like your tablet, I guess. That's right. Um, so all I'm going to do is just uh, swipe. So I just swipe through it. That's right. Just swipe through like you would on your phone. Now, it's a little weird because we're on this carpet. We're at CES. It's not set up perfectly. <laughs> um, but you can see it works. This is amazing. Um, and if I just click on something, no it'll problem. open it. That's right. Uh, Oh, so I just opened Perfect Piano. Uh, you can play piano. I don't know how to actually play piano very well. Uh, it's been a long time, but that's really cool. It really works. I mean, it's tracking my finger pretty quickly. That's right. It's just like your phone and your tablets. That's amazing. So to get out of it, do I just click there? Oh, that's no. Right. Or you can go back to home page at here. Oh, wow. OK. And um, all right, Fruit Ninja. I remember Fruit Ninja. There we go. It's an old game, but uh, apparently you're a pro, huh? Uh, I don't know if I'd say I'm a pro. I just vaguely remembered how to play it. Um, but yeah, it's working. This is uh, all right. So play let's games. see. We're gonna play. That's right. Um, let's just close that. Skip that. Yep. Yeah. And uh, so let's see. Oh, yeah. I mean, it tracks quickly. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. Um, the main point is it has a 10-point finger touch, so you can use all your 10 fingers to play. Oh, yeah. You can see the multiple. Uh, oh, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, <laughs> completely breaking the game. But that's, uh, let's see. Let's get out of this. Um, slice up. Oh, slides up. OK. I mean, it's very intuitive, like, right. a, like a tablet. That's you right. Know, it behaves pretty much the way you expect it to behave. Um, how, where do you get the apps from? You download them from the Google Store? Or That's right. Android? You can download any apps from the App Stores. The App Store is called Up to Down. You can download, oh, we don't have internet work here, but uh, you can download any regular Android apps that you usually play. And uh, it has a built in storage, so you don't have to worry about it. Wow. Um, this is very cool. Now, 
how long has, uh, you know, we see, we see a lot of projectors out there. Um, I've seen some touch screen, some like projecting keyboards onto the thing. What kind of technology is going on here? Um, how does this work? So first of all, there are two main different, par different parts between our projector and other projectors. So the first of all, it's going to be the Lumis. Lumis represents for the brightness. Our brightness is about 500 lumens, so you can, you can see this in the bright daylight as well. Otherwise, I mean, it shows up fine in our brightly lit. That's studio. right. That's right. So number two thing is going to be the touch sensitive. So we have two cameras inside. One camera is going to be the projection, and the other camera is more like a sensor to t to tell whether you are touching the surface or not. And it can tell whether I'm touching it or just hovering right above that's it. That's right. Knows the difference. That's right. Uh, that's that's certainly pretty cool. Um, it, it, I mean, it worked really well. It seemed to be super responsive. Um, can it also show like movies and things like that definitely, if I wanted to? Definitely. Right now, we're looking at a 23-inch screen. The screen goes up to 100 inches. 100 inches. That's right. That's right. Without any noticeable volume or nope. uh, brightness nope. decrease? Nope. Not um, at all. Could I watch it at 100 inches in the same brightness that we're in right now? That's right. That's right. That's what we can do. In the meantime, we also have a Bluetooth remote control. So you can just sit back and relax and enjoy yourself. Wow, that's super cool. Um, that is a uh, definitely a fun sort of entertainment kind of complex you could set into your home. That's right. Um, good for kids because they don't ever have to touch it. That's they don't right. ever have to break anything. That's right. Nice, nice. Uh, not that all kids are going to break stuff, but you know, <laughs> little kids playing games. You never know what they're going to do to your tablet. Uh, actually, in the meantime, since you mentioned kids, this is actually great for kids as well. I mean, modern days, out, uh, adults, children, they've been looking at their phones or the laptops all the time. It actually damages their eyes. Right now, you don't have to directly look into the screen. This right. is more like a reflection. Right, it's reflected not light, right. not direct light. That's right. Very cool. Um, now, how long do the bulbs last? How long do the cameras last? You know, like all that. So the bulb lasts for 20,000 hours. So it can pretty much use for about 10 years. So you don't have to worry about it. Not bad. <laughs> 10 years, that's a lot of viewing. That's right. Um, and uh, is this available now? Is this unit out now? For this unit, it's going to be released in March, but we have another generation, another unit. It's already in the market and can purchase this in Amazon as well. What's the difference between that unit and this unit? It's going to be the processor. The other unit is using an M Star chip, and this unit is using a Qualcomm Snapdragon chip. OK, so this one's a little faster, a little more robust. That's right. You can use this to play some games, uh, to do uh, more uh, like advanced stuff. Where can people uh, purchase this? Or where well, will they be able to purchase it? So they, they're going to be able to purchase this in March and, uh, on Amazon and on our website, HatchySmart.com. And how much does it sell for? So the retail price is going to be 999 US dollar. 999. So it's uh, you know it's more than uh, uh, most tablets, um, uh, more than many laptops, but not much more than some of the high-end tablets right. that are out there. Um, and it does give you this sort of home um, projection quality. You can also use it to watch things right. on a hundred. Inch, That's right. 100 inch TV. Does that have built in speakers or do you need speakers? That's right. It has a built in speakers as well. So you don't have to connect to anything else. But like I said, if you want to, you can connect to an external speaker as well. Through Bluetooth or uh, Through uh, audio jacket. Audio jacket. Or Bluetooth. Oh, so it has Bluetooth, audio jack. That's right. It's got internet. That's right. Um, very cool. Does it have any uh, video outputs like HDMI or anything That's like that? That's right. It has an HDMI port as well. So you oh. can connect your laptop as well. Great. Um, so we're looking at the Hachi Infinite. It's going to be available, uh, when did you say? March. March. March at Amazon. Uh, you'll be able to get it. There's a, a, a version out right now, but uh, I don't know. We're, we're only a couple months away to the uh, more powerful one coming out. Um, thank you so much for coming by, no Kevin. No problem. It's very cool. It works, which is great. It's always good to sit down with tech that works. Uh, stick around. We're going to keep bringing you coverage from CES 2020, the last day of coverage of CES 2020. Um, technology like this that's uh, making the future just a little bit more fun. I'm Brian Stillman. We'll be back.